okay, but it wasn't too in. I think it was a little rusty coming off of some uni stuff. Some uh, uniclear, I believe. Or uni celeste. Not sure. Either way, gonna start off with a <laughs> fire arrow into forward tilt. Not interesting thing. Oh, it's this dash attack there. Finds the up B. What's gonna be? No follow up using Mr. B using the up B invincibility and that crab. That that must have been a max distance grab. Cause that that did not look like it would have hit. Ooh. And Mr. B loving these back <laughs> loving these up B's, almost getting all of the hits so far using that up B. And uh, just using it very, very well. Very good at combo breaking, obviously, having those eye frames very, very fast. And able to retreat. Uh, to either the top platform or the other platforms. And it's just the question of who takes the first stock. You see Mr. B looking for some of these aerials, trying to get jump over the projectiles or the fire arrows with a forward air or a back air. And now you're off stage. It's going to be the counter. And what? I think he can a one hit then got hit by the last hit of the up B because he did it the wrong way I think and the bomb maybe the bomb exploding had something to do there but Kevin doing really really well here however the neutral layer from Mr. B going to even up the stocks but you've still taken 57% that's a classic young link combo just doing a lot of damage at those low percents but still not a place you want to be but now it is a Mr. B ledge trap situation. However, Kevin going to be able to get out of there using the neutral air on a whiffed up tilt from Mr. B. Mr. B finds, ooh, pushed a little bit too far to get the grab. Finds another one on the ledge trap though. And then you see a Mr. B trying to go for a deep edge guard, but Kevin going low, uses an up B past the ledge to maybe try and eke out a little bit of a cheese. But Mr. B, both of them just being a little bit too late on the timings there. Ooh, Mr. B trying to go for one of those neutral Bs that he loves doing with those jumps. But now you're at the ledge. What's it going to be? And it's going to be the up smash from Kevin catching the roll in. Oh, and that's not what he does. It's going to be the bomb, boomerang, and a forward air. Going to get stuck with the up B on the, st on the top platform, but still not dead for it. Mr. B trying to find the move to close it out, but you're still taking so much percent back air trading with the up air from Young Link. And it's going to be another neutral air. Kevin been get up attacking a lot, and Mr. B kind of catching up on that, using the falling neutral air to intercept and just beat it out. Ooh, and that dash attack not going to be punished either. Ooh, not what you want to see. Knocked onto the platform and hit by the boomerang into the forward air. Mr. B going to be able to get back on stage with the get up attack, but needs to find something here before Kevin finds a confirm or even just a raw up smash. Finds a forward air there, has a bomb in hand at the ledge. Mr. B gets hit by the late up air. It's not going to take it. Oh, and the parry into the neutral air. Good shit by Kevin. Mr. B finds a neutral air. Is, are we going to see the edge guard? No, we are not going to see the edge guard. Instead, the last of the up B going to poke its way through the stage. And nope, late hit the up air once again through the platform, not going to be able to take it. Need to roll a late hit neutral air. And yeah, definitely, yeah, I was about to say, sweet spot neutral air can definitely take it by this point. And uh, yeah, Kevin gonna take game number one. Getting around Mr. B's edge guards really, really well and just finding a few key openings to extend the percentages, to extend the lead. Using the boomerang and the bomb a lot. Saw a lot of forward air confirms. Not to mention, honestly, I think if, if the counter had hit and I killed Kevin and Mr. B didn't die for it in whatever that interaction is, that'll be on Twitter later because that was a weird interaction. Um, the game could have been differently. So we're going to see what Mr. B decides to change and we go to Hollow Bastion. Now, the lore here. For those of you who may not know, a lot of you probably do if you're in the Massachusetts area, in the Boston area especially. Smashville, we like to call here uh, when Mr. B is on it as uh, B-Ville because he loves that stage and he is very, very good on that stage. And Hollow Bastion is very, very similar layout. You have that big platform and Lucina and especially Mr. B is very, very good 
at using that platform to its fullest extent. So bringing him to Hollow Bastion, Kevin maybe not being aware of it, but also probably not being too bothered with the stage. I can see you not wanting to go something like a Smashville. You don't have as much room to set up. But uh, as I'm saying that, Kevin is just absolutely annihilating Mr. B with this ledge trap, just using every single tool at Young Link's disposal. And that's going to be a mistack from Mr. B and dead off the side with the bomb. Really, really good stuff. Kevin is playing this matchup amazingly, and Mr. B is just not being able to find everything. Already 40%. Mr. B isn't able to find the forward tilt either. And even in disadvantage, Kevin is just finding one or two of these hits, not finding all of them, but that up B is going to be punished once since it whiff. The jump is caught with the back air. The forward tilt is not spaced properly and hit by the arrow. And more forward airs are coming out. And suddenly Mr. B is down three stocks to two. This young Link is insane. Kevin absolutely running circles around Mr. B. Just Mr. B not able to get anything settled. Finally finds an edge guard, finds the forward air. The bomb is not going to explode in time. It is going to explode, but a little bit too low. Finally, Mr. B gets himself on the board but we need to see if it's too little too late at this point, or if Mr. B can start getting something cooking. Would have had something crazy going on there if he got that down there. Maybe it wouldn't have killed at that low of a percent, but it would have been a lead trap situation and what you want to see, but instead Mr. B already at 70. Make that 80%, make that 96 after the fire arrow and the neutral air. And Kevin's ledge trapping has just been completely on point. Mr. B finally getting a few things right, calling out jumps and spot dodges, but it might be too little too late as the dash attack sends him off stage once again. And these ledge traps have been so, so good for this young Link. Mr. B finally back into a little bit of control. The down tilt's clank clanking, but the fire hour once again is just going to combo into the neutral air. Ooh, the missed tech, but going to be able to roll away. Tries to maybe look for an up tilt, it looked like. Oh, but that's not what you want to do. The side B on shield going to be extremely unsafe. And Kevin going to take it with an up smash out of shield. Very, very good stuff.